taken his inspiration from rhubarb and custard sweets. So he's serving rhubarb and custard sponge, ice cream and vanilla custard. He's also making his own boiled sweets, which were a disaster yesterday. And he's still making changes to the rest of his dessert. Danny, so you're doing something different here. I noticed you've changed the rhubarb. Yeah, I tried. I think I had the fear, seeing to your desserts going out. I'm still, it's a little work in progress. Yeah. You know, it's not, it's not really, it's not <laughs> it's really finalized. It's a bit of a late, uh, yeah. a bit well, of a late stage to be a work in progress. Last time, the sponges were almost solid. He seems much happier with them today, but once again, it's all rather last minute. If you manage to get on the plate now, it'd be great. Huh? First on the plate is some rhubarb puree, the warm sponge, and then some thick vanilla custard. Finally, he adds a scoop of rhubarb and custard ice cream. Well, lads, let's get this out now. Go. Nine, nine, nine. It's Danny's final course. Will his seat-of-the-pants sponge be a stroke of genius or a hasty hodgepodge? It looks pretty rustic to me. Mm. No way. Mm. It's, it's very, very light. Sharp. Good vanilla ice cream. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling some love for this pudding here. It's, uh, <laughs> it, it does taste This pudding is feeling some it, love for you, there is, there is very good quality ice cream. You know, there's a really nice sauce on it. This is a pudding which will be cooked by Granny. Mm. Not by some of the greatest chefs Good. in the country. That's very British. I see puddings, British puddings, as, as, mm. as sort of Granny's recipes. I like that. Uh, I'm not sure it has the pizzazz and the frivolity and the celebratory feeling that a pudding should have. And there's those things. They're not the gently challenged, I can tell you. I love the flavour of it. I just don't understand why it's here. This Next. is a bribe, and we're not going to have anything to do with it. No, it's, it's disqualified. A, it's a little aid memoir. If you put it like that on the pudding, it would have broken your teeth and we would have rejected it. <laughs> so we're not going to have it in a box either. Oh, Prue! No, absolutely not. It's cheating.